Hi, good morning everybody and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Today is the Thursday. Oh boy, how time flies. It's the Thursday, the 25th of April 2019 and we are already done, almost already done with the month 4 of this year. So almost the like, what, what is it? 33% of this year is done and the markets haven't been slower. I've been speaking with so many people that I know, so many profitable traders and everybody are saying that they're usually on the average if they take like 20, 30 trades per month, currently they are taking half of it. So markets are really, really slow. Now let's go to the charts and let's see, are we going to get any opportunity to get, to get engaged in the market uh, with the way I'm trading it. So here we are on the USD CAD and as you can see yesterday, just almost as we predicted, market did went up did uh, make a small pullback and now uh, it did push uh, uh push towards this resistance zone i did expect it to go to pull back into this zone here but it didn't do that it just found support in the previous structure and just blew for a trade now let's check out on the daily yeah so currently what i would be looking at is so we were in some kind of a bearish move let's let's call it that way yeah could be and now we are officially in a bullish move on our four. That means that we will be bullish on our four or on, on daily. That means that we will be bullish on our four. So the only things that I'd be looking at is actually to market for market to pull back into this zone right here as it, it's slowly pulling back and then find some kind of a support and just continue its upward move. I'm currently backtesting this on the euro dollar. Now, I don't know, I'm not going to trade this or anything because I don't know the expectancy of it, but I'm just looking at it and making predictions just for the confidence boost if this happens. Now, Aussie CAD. Aussie CAD yesterday, uh, if, you, if you're trading ciphers, here's this big cipher, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D right here. I believe this week touched the 38.2, so you might be out for target one. There was some kind of a crazy news yesterday. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. It's trading. This is trading. So you probably got to gauge a 78.2. This is this is a level of 78.2 from X to A, B, C. And you were up 39 pips only to be up right now. How many pips? A pips. But it's trading. You need to stay in a trade. You need to wait. Either your target is going to get hit or your stop loss. But I'm not trading Aussie CAD ciphers. It's not they're not profitable for me. So I did not get engaged. What I see here is the possible opportunity for us today would be a bad pattern. X to A, A to B, B to C, and then C D completion up there. Let's see. Is this good enough for us? Yes, it would be a bad pattern. Now let's check it out. Can I trade the bad pattern here? Because I have pairs where I cannot where is the bad yes if the if the price action goes overbought over sold i will get engaged in this bad pattern okay so i marked my chart up now let me set up my uh, alarm and that would be it there we go when price action hits the alarm i will get ready put my pending orders on and wait for the price action to do its own thing aussie usd rolling over nothing major is happening definitely right now in a bearish trend in my opinion now but we are in a structure oh yeah so we're at the interesting point right here at the structure support where i would be thinking that a uh, price action will yeah it did not breach it so right now what i would do here if i'm trading this i would wait probably for double bottom or something because this is not uh, anything of my interest it is bearish but not at this point I will not be selling at this point right here uh, if I were to look our four as we were moving up like making higher highs currently we breach this so we are currently bearish and if the price action my thinking is along this line if the price action pulls back into this zone we get a lower low lower close candle then I will get engaged and maybe short it but not this pair I haven't backtested it yet, okay? In terms of the patterns, I don't see anything here. Now let's move to the euro dollar. Also, moving, moving very, very bearish, making new low, new low, 
new low and now i'm expecting some kind of a pullback to test this structure level to find some kind of a uh, resistance here and then maybe pull back even okay it can go maybe all the way up to here that'd be that would be my prediction to price action to pull back here let's see our one yeah so my first opportunity would be if the price action pulls back into this makes a double top or something or pulls back here and makes some kind of a, a rejection opportunity then i would be shorting it and that's actually what i'm back testing all the way to this level here so it would be a nice 50 50 something pips opportunity we will see what's gonna happen i'm not done with back testing so i'll not play this uh, trade but this is what i'm predicting and it will be very nice to see what's gonna happen with it pound dollar uh what happened happened is that we yesterday predicted a pullback into the zone waiting for waited for a lower low lower close as to just a price action to make a new low immediately and it did test our and it, it did come to our 127.2 however the correct price point would be then this here and which you can see price action almost came through it's a beautiful thing when your predictions play out however we're waiting a, a little bit slightly bit deeper pullback Currently, what I'm waiting for is a price action to pull back into this zone right now, because this looks like a kill zone. Late, latest pullback, and because it made a new low, and where did find support at the? Why did I put this here? Maybe because of 127. Yeah, because I don't see a reason. Oh, maybe this little structure level. Yeah, yeah. That might be it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So the biggest level I would be I would be playing I would not be playing this level actually. Uh, I would be playing only this level right there. So this level would be of my interest, and this is the interested level. So I think there is still room to the downside. Yes, sure. There is a smaller structural level here where the price action is at, but I believe we have a chance to breach through it. So. Uh, pull back into the zone, lower, 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 close, and let's play to the extended target. My opinion, not gonna trade, just making a prediction until I backtest it, I'm not allowed to trade it. And then finally, we have a pound yen. Something we might get as some kind of a pattern here. Something like this would be a pattern for us. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, so that we finally get some kind of an action. So what are we waiting for? Is it a 50? Yes, it's going to be a 50% level here. It's going to be a bad pattern and might be something of our interest today. So if the price action comes here, I'm going to... No. <laughs> If the price action comes here, I'm gonna uh, set set my pending orders on and wait for the price action. I can only trade bats uh, on the pound yen until 1 p.m. GMT time zone. And with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I do this actually for real <laughs> on a daily basis however i upload a video only if we get some kind of an action i will definitely upload a video today because it's it's just four days in a week and we haven't got any action it kind of pisses me off and i want to put something out there for all of you good people who are following me and waiting for my content and there is one more thing that i want to share and this is it this is a new ebook that I wrote for all of the things that I wish I knew when I was first starting out trading Forex because you, as you probably know, I wasted almost uh, two years of my Forex life, of the Forex journey, being scammed, joining signal services, joining copier services, only to blow up a lot of money and go nowhere. It wasn't until I found my mentor uh, that uh, my Forex trading changed drastically to the better, so I decided to put in two, two months of my time to write this ebook and share with all of the people who are interested in starting the forex journey right way it is free just click on the link down below and there is a, a url here on the screen that you can see go there check it out put your email there join our, our community private where we talk about the investments that we are making where we talk about it's free community is free everything is free guys uh where we talk about the trading and i will share my trading opinions on some pairs etc etc as i said they are opinions and not the, not the investment advices and with that being said guys thank you very much for watching this morning session if you're new to the channel i do this on a daily basis 
please consider subscribing, clicking the like button, share the video, comment below if you agree or disagree with me about anything, and let's start the conversation. See you soon in the afternoon session. Thank you very much, and bye. Hi guys, and welcome back to the afternoon session of this daily Forex Market Analysis on this beautiful Thursday. And as I said in the morning session, the only reason I'm uploading this is because I said so that I will definitely upload this one. However, we got zero action. As you can see on the USD CAD, we didn't get a pullback here in that zone. Market continues rallying up, so we still have a chance to get a pullback. Then we will, we will see what's going to happen. Aussie CAD, just to recap, we violated our potential bad pattern. So I'm going to delete my alarms. Then we have the Aussie USD. We didn't get a pullback back, uh, back into the zone, but we did reach as the low. The price action held here. So I would not consider going short anymore because we have a strong wick sign of buyers. I need a lower, low, lower close below this level in order to go short now. Uh, then moving forward, Euro dollar, we made a new low and then new low without a pullback here. So price action then pulled back into that, this smaller zone and it's pushing uh, downwards right now. Pound dollar still like touched the 127, 141, pulling back into a different zone. And what's happening is we might get another try, another opportunity of sellers pushing down. We will see what's going to happen. But if I if I were to trade this, I would wait for a push up and then a lower roll over close to have a risk to reward mat and then I would trade it to short. Then we have a pound yen. Obviously, it's just in a downtrend and we did not get the opportunity either. So that kind of sums it all up. A very boring entire week for us. But guys, what I, why I kind of decided to upload this session is Trading sometimes is exactly like you see. Sometimes you just got to sit on your hands, wait for the opportunity, and sometimes this wait can be a longer period of time. There is nothing wrong with it. Wrong with it. it just happens. That's why we need to backtest a bunch of strategies, have multiple approaches to market, one for the consolidations, one for the trending market, one for the counter trends, etc., etc. So you got to accept this environment and that's why i'm looking that's why this trading is a long it's a marathon it's a long-term game and that's why and i that one of the reasons why i'm uploading this so that you can see what actually happens on a daily basis if you're just approaching the market the same way same way trading is really boring and with that being said i'm just going to wrap it up upload this and wait for the next week hopefully or friday well, we will see what's going to happen tomorrow of course i will upload a video if you get some kind of an action if not i will probably not upload a video so if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing i do this on a daily basis and i upload educational videos as well uh you know so two or three times per week uh, in terms of the investing in terms of the trading etc etc so thank you very much for watching, stay until the end and speak to you soon. Bye bye.